got your back. We're on, we're on Great Otway National Park. We're in the middle of it. And got me partner in the back, giving me a good hug. Mm, nice. It's nice, I've got everything. Got phone, got hug, got cruise, got beamer. Ain't got anything on my screen though. Let's get something on the Jeep. Jeepers. Oh, there it is. Forest Apollo Bay Road we're on. Which is somewhere between Apollo Bay and Beach Forest. And it kind of runs inland from the Great Ocean Road. That's, that's what we're doing. Just open the visor for you. You can get some ambient sound. cut inland because I didn't want to go to the coast um, from, from the 12 Apostles to Apollo Bay I wasn't too interested in that line and I thought I'd cut inland because it would be quicker to get back to the Great Ocean Road you know along the sea but um, this is practically a 40 zone because it's so tight and the road's narrow and it's not marked and you want to be careful with oncoming traffic so this ain't too much of a quick route, but it's definitely nice and scenic. Bloody beautiful up through the forest. Okay, just go give them a medal or something. People like that need medals, I reckon. Encouragement. Let's encourage the good and let's not pay attention to the bad, eh? And maybe it'll all happen the way it should happen. These are tricky, oh you can't be tricked into these. They're deceiving, because you think you've seen all of the road. And then you take the corner and you realise, oh I hadn't seen all the road. Which is dangerous, because if you hadn't seen all the road, that means you hadn't cleared it of uh, vehicles. And when you think you had seen the road, and you get to that point you think you had seen the road, if there was actually something there, uh, bang. <laughs> You fuck, I mean, sorry, family show. You're, you're buggered, you know? <laughs> All you need is something to be there at that exact, just the right timing, you know? Just the right timing that you miss it. You miss it when you're looking and it goes to that zone that you thought was clear and it pops out of that zone that you thought was clear and bang, head on. That's all it takes, so you got to be careful with these. If you, if you really can't see edge to edge, forget it. Edge to edge of the road. You can't see both edges of the road. Don't bother. Stay away from it. So, there's another rule for you. So, rule number one is only go as fast as you can brake. What does that mean? It means only go as fast 
as you can see that you can break actually that's the rule only go as fast as you can see that you can break so only go so that's all I can see is just that bit there ahead of me so I should only go as fast as I know it'll take me to stop to that point you see so that's rule one only go as fast as you can see that you can break I guess I've just created rule two which is only go as fast as you can see that you can break by noticing both sides of the road both edges of the road not just one edge both edges so I've got to be able to spot left and right edge of the road and make a judgment on those two edges so I can see two edges over there so I know I can increase the speed to that much you see two edges edge 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 see car got to spot those edges and stick to your edge there you go there's the second rule because you can you can make perhaps only see one edge and you're going to assume where the other edge is and you might get it wrong the road might go wider or narrower something like that I couldn't see this edge here, right here on my right. I couldn't see that edge. There could have been a car there hiding. Do you see what I mean? You gotta, you gotta note those edges. All right, Skins Creek. Here we come, Skins Creek. Any cars? No. And when you get to intersections out in the country, take the time to stop the look because it's not road you're familiar with. Take the time, stop the look because there might be some bangers or bangers or something something unexpected and all you need is something unexpected at the wrong time and um, the, you'd be you'd be in another time you, that's it that'd be the end of your time if you get what I mean there's, there's no room for error in this shit you know? no room for error at all no room for error at all really and if you err and you survive, consider yourself lucky. But really, there's no room for error. Error means equals death. Pretty much. Error equals death. And if you slide off your bike and no car runs over you, you're lucky. Just just consider yourself lucky, because any other otherwise you'd be dead, right? So there's no room for error. It's do, do it properly. Die, essentially. Essentially, pretty much. Yeah. Well, how you like my gloom and doom stories, eh? Am I, am I encouraging you to go for a ride? Yeah, you, yeah, you can. It, it, see, rides are easy. Just go as fast as you can see that you can brake. See, you can see all that. Go for it. But now I don't know what's around the corner. I only go as fast as I can see I can brake at that bit. And you can do, that's the thing on a bike, you can do that very easily, you can easily slow down and speed up and it doesn't, a bike does it very quickly. So you don't have to think, oh I'm going to lose momentum, you don't, have, you don't need to consider that at all. Because you pick up momentum really quick on a bike, like this, see, it's so easy to just zip around. So use your brake and use your throttle, make use of it, you don't need to try and maintain some momentum or motion like you try to in a car, you know? Yeah, know what I mean? Shmeen. Sneaks Creek Road now, oh Skeens Creek, S-K-E-N-E-S Creek Road now. We're heading for the Great Ocean, that's where we're going. Heading back to the Great Ocean Road and we'll do the scenic route. Well, I wish I could, but I don't think we've got time for the scenic route. But we'll do the scenic route for sure. Don't know about the route. Yeah. Let's see how we go. There's a lot of people around too today. It's Australia Day, so we might not be able to do the scenic route, just the scenic route.
Yeah, that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Get some air on you, eh? There you go. Da -da -da -da. Ten whackers. We're up to ten whackers. Just using the flick of the wrist to control it. There's that popular book that talks about just a flick of the wrist. It's pretty much what it is. It's just all on the wrist. And not putting too much power but just putting enough power. It's all on the wrist. And with a powerful bike like this. You don't need much um, wrist action at all. It's just so gradual. Look at that. Whoa. Hey. Okay. 